I just got back from filming a wedding. And then I watched this show and it's... It's all so sweet. What is up, Flick fans? Today, instead of tackling what we normally do, Netflix, we are focusing on Prime Video and talking about the brand new Amazon series called Modern Love. I need your comments down below. Have you seen this show? Have you heard of it? I'm going to tell you some reasons why I believe this one's worth a watch. An unlikely friendship, a lost love resurfaced, a marriage that is at its turning point, a date that might have never been a date, an unconventional new family, these are all unique stories about the joys and tribulations of love, each inspired by a real-life personal essay from the beloved New York Times column, Modern Love. So yeah, Modern Love, this is an interesting one because it's difficult to judge as one season in its entirety, even though it's technically one season in its entirety. Every episode is different. Every episode is based on one individual column, a story that someone has told. Maybe it's based on a true story, maybe it isn't, doesn't matter. We are here to just kind of soak in all of this and... What I love about this show and what it does wonderfully is that every episode, while it may not work for you, it's going to work for someone. I believe there is someone that can't relate to maybe episodes one and two out of the eight episodes, maybe episodes five and six out of the eight episodes. Maybe you just found one episode that you can relate to. We're not talking about quality just yet, but I believe that's what this show is truly all about. It's showcasing modern love. I'd say less modern and more just a different love story for each situation. Sometimes it has to do with uh, modern things, I guess, and we'll get into that. But I do believe this is all about someone finding something that they can just kind of gravitate towards, latch onto that story, and feel emotional while watching. I didn't relate to every story. I actually found a few to just kind of fall a bit flat. That's the beautiful thing about a show like this. If you don't like one, you can move on to the next, and maybe you'll like that one. And I'll say this, three or four of these, I thought were pretty awesome, man. And I was so bummed to see the episodes that I love come to an end because it's like, we only got 30 minutes of this. I want a whole show based around this story. And I love it because they get these incredible actors and actresses to come in and play these roles. I'm sure it was a simple shoot. They only had to create one 30-minute episode. But with a show like this, you can get your Anne Hathaways, you get your Dev Patels, you get your Tina Fey. They come in, they do their thing, they leave, and each one is telling a wonderful, a lovely love story. Sometimes the story can move a bit slow, fall a bit flat. Like I said, I wasn't a fan of every episode, but then I look into who helmed each individual episode. I don't even want to get into the ones that I didn't like because, you know, they're there. I'm sure they have their fans. But the episodes that I did find myself really enjoying, the first three in particular, I look at who the director is and oh my goodness, John Carney? And then I realized, wait a second, John Carney actually wrote, or co-wrote, this entire show and directed four out of the eight episodes. If you guys don't know who John Carney is, begin again, Sing Street. Sing Street is one of my favorite movies of all time, so yeah, that kind of explains why I liked those individual episodes. He did When the Doorman is Your Main Man, When Cupid is a Prying Journalist, Take Me As I Am, Whoever I Am, and Hers Was a World of One. If you guys have seen the show, you know that those are some of the better episodes. Now, they may not be your favorite, and that's the beauty of something like this, right? Everyone, like I said, is going to have their story, but everyone is also going to have their favorite episode. If I had to pick my favorite, that's difficult because I was just falling in love with the very first episode about the doorman. I loved how it explored a different kind of relationship. Not necessarily a man meets a woman, they fall in love. No, this is a, this is a fatherly love towards a woman who someone cares about. And every love story in here is not your cliche and conventional love story. Now, it may end up like that, but the journey to that point is always different. It also explores love that's maybe running its course that isn't the same as what it used to be. Love that sparks because of a tragic situation. Love that comes from something unexpected like a breakup. The episode that hit on that, episode two, I thought was wonderful. There are just so many moments from the show that I could pull out and say, 
It's so well handled. It's so well executed. Some of the better love stories of 2019, but really of the last few years. And most of it does have to do with the fact that they're not telling another Nicholas Sparks story here. They're telling something that feels new. It feels modern. Now, when they use the word modern in modern love, not every story has to do with technology and social media. They definitely hit on that in a few episodes, and it kind of comes into play every now and then. But no, it just kind of deals with the modern relationship. Like I said, it's not all about the guy finding the girl, what you picture, what you imagine in your typical, say, rom-com love stories. It's definitely not that. If you know John Carney's style, he incorporates music wonderfully, and those episodes in particular, I thought, did a great job of the overall execution from the filmmaking to the cinematography to just capturing the moment. And that's one thing that I think Modern Love does consistently well throughout every single episode. Even the episodes that I didn't necessarily care as much about, I'm like, okay, that's fine. The acting's really good because they got wonderful talent. I can't wait to get to the next episode, but I still look at it and I say it does a solid job for what it's trying to do. I'm not saying the episodes that weren't directed by John Carney were not good. There are a few in there I'm like, yeah. I definitely see what they were going for, but overall, I can say the majority of the stories here worked. Another interesting one I just want to point out is Anne Hathaway's episode, who I haven't even mentioned her yet. That one is Take Me As I Am, Whoever I Am. It's dealing uh, with something that is very different. And at the beginning of the episode, when it started, I'm like, I, what is this? I was so off board with that episode until I realized what it was about. And I felt that way about multiple episodes, but this one in particular, once you understand the story and the final five minutes of that episode, uh, fantastic. I mean, what a wonderful, wonderfully directed episode, but just a great job by Anne Hathaway on selling that performance. And then you discover what it's actually about. Once again, not your cliched love story. It is a very different experience from what you're expecting going in. If you know what John Carney does, you can kind of expect what the tone is going to be here. It's heartfelt. It's emotional when it needs to be. Every story carries its own weight. Not every story will work for everyone, but it is a series that brings something, I believe, for everyone. If you're in the search for your episode and you're five episodes in, you still haven't found the one that you like, I promise you, if you keep going, you're going to find one. There is something in here for everyone. I'm actually going to go, you know what, I'm going to go 78% for Modern Love. I'm going to take what I loved about this series, I'm going to hold that close to my heart, and hopefully I'm going to remember it for a long time to come. I'd love to see more stuff like this. This is a very different show on a streaming platform or television right now. I thought it was wonderfully directed. The fact that they got all of these actors is incredible, and I want to know your thoughts down below. How did you guys feel about Modern Love? Are you upset that my shirt is as wrinkled as it is? Listen, I've been filming a wedding all day. I'm tired, but I found time to cram in this show. It was worth it. It was a nice experience. I'm sitting there shedding a tear by myself. Look, it's so beautiful modern love folks i truly appreciate you watching this video all of my videos that i've released this weekend i have one more series to go the brand new series that dropped on hulu don't worry i'm going to get to it at some point and of course watchmen that first episode is dropping as well as my weekly box office recap you guys are truly the best thank you for watching i'll see you soon